Hi Aries, this is your March 29th through April 4th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have the Page of Pentacles, we have the Lovers, clarified by the Teal Ones, we also have the Ace of Cups, clarified by the Hierophant. In the potential outcome, we have the Knight of Pentacles, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. And we also have the Teal of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Gemini or an Earth sign, or as we're going Capricorn, or pretty much any sign. This is a general reading. So what, what we see here from the get-go, or that's what I see, is we have three cards symbolizing a choice. We have the lovers, clarified by the two of ones, and we also have the two of swords on the bottom of the deck. Um, at least two of them are about a choice, or some kind of a difficult decision. You could be um, at the crossroads, whether to accept this person into your life and accept their offer or not, or perhaps you have a choice between two different people, but we only have uh, one person here, or perhaps one of the major arcana cards could be represented uh, by a second person. So let's uh, take a look at the uh, Two of Swords uh, on the bottom of the deck. This is a card of a choice, or this is a card of a crossroads, right? Then we have the Page of Pentacles, the first card that came out. The Page of Pentacles is a small offer, but it could be something tangible, something you can touch. The Page of Pentacles to me personally is a small offer, but it's always about somebody who is just testing the waters, but their intention is a serious relationship. They don't want to jump head first, but that is what their intention is, is to get into a committed relationship or they're looking somebody to settle down with or have, to have children together with, right? The next, the next card that came out is the Lovers. It could be a Gemini. The Lovers is the personal Gemini card. Or the Lovers is a card of a choice. And it's clarified by the two of ones. The two of ones is also a card of a choice. Somebody who is thinking about whether they want to give this person a chance. Or like I said, if, we, if there is more than one person and we're just not seeing this person here, it could be a choice between two different people. Right then we have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is clarified by the Hierophant. The Hierophant is the personal Taurus card, so you could be dealing with a Taurus. Or the Hierophant is um, a card of a something traditional like a committed relationship or marriage. And I really like the fact that it's clarifying the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is all about emotions. Uh, it's one of the best cards when it comes to love offers. This is always genuine and authentic. Um, so perhaps you're just putting this person on hold, right? before you like get really serious about them. Perhaps you're just waiting for them to uh, get serious as well, or you're waiting for them to show emotions, to show you love, um, probably because uh, they come through as the Page of Pentacles, right? Something on the smaller side. Um, but in the outcome, we have the Knight of Pentacles, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. So that's what I'm talking about here <laughs> is, right? So the Page of Pentacles is being upgraded to the Knight of Pentacles. It could be an Earth sign after all, um, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or this person is getting serious. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles is always about somebody who thought their offer through because this is the slowest night out of all four nights. Right, so at some point in the future, they could make you an offer to uh, move in together. They could make you an offer to uh, make it exclusive, uh, make it official, or they will just um, show and do more serious things towards you, not just the Page of Pentacles level. And uh, then it will be a completely different game because after the Knight of Pentacles, we have. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. The Ten of Pentacles is one of the marriage cards or a committed relationship cards. This is when people get very serious, very stable. This is when people buy property together, um, have children, grandchildren come after that, right? And the Nine of Cups is a card of a wish come true or this is a card of a personal satisfaction. So for some of you, you could be uh, keeping distance 
or not showing interest in this person but this is just you being very clever Aries and there is nothing wrong with that you just want to make sure that this person is a hundred percent on board with you that they are um, showing that they want to commit to you even though the page of Pentacles is here this is always somebody who is serious like I said but perhaps they're just not investing into this connection a hundred percent they're not showing that they're dedicated a hundred percent and that's what you want them to do you want them to show you want them to actually do um, something on the on a different level on a more serious level and once they start um, doing that then you will um, let them know that now you're taking them seriously and uh, like I said in the potential outcome there is definitely a potential for a commitment or even marriage but at this point this week this week that we're talking about right now this is just the initial stages there is a lot of um, decision cards in the, in the mix so you'll just be either showing this person you're not really on board with them because they're not showing that they're on board a hundred percent it's kind of a it's like a little game right but uh, I think you're gonna win here and I think you're doing the right thing because uh, you know who's got time for somebody who's not serious nowadays <laughs> alright Aries so it looks very good very very promising Aries if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread the link is in the description below in the extended I'll do two or three more spreads depending on how the situation unfolds we'll take a look at what to expect between you and this new person going forward and that uh, will get you an advice for this whole situation Aries if you are already married or if you're in a relationship this spread is for you we have the nine of cups we have the chariot we have the knight of cups and we also have the sun on the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with a water sign cancer scorpio or pisces um, so the first card I came out is the Nine of Cups. This is a card of a wish come true or this is a card of a personal satisfaction. The Sun on the bottom of the deck is the happiest card in the deck. So with the uh, Chariot and the Knight of Cups, it kind of feels like um, some sort of a surprise that is being prepared for you that will make you really happy. It could be a surprise trip with the Chariot or it could be something that will uh, make this relationship go go forward or it'll like turbocharge it but in reality I think this is something uh, that is being prepared that will surprise you and I wonder what the occasion could be Aries <laughs> could it be someone's birthday <laughs> well happy birthday Aries if you're celebrating this week so yeah something is in the works here I really like the Knight of Cups right next to the deck this is all about love this is all about emotions very positive emotions the chariot like I said it could be um, a cancer you're dealing with the chariot could also be a trip that uh, the two of you will be going together uh, the chariot could be a vehicle so some of you could be getting a car for your birthday <laughs> you know it could be as simple as that whatever is happening it's going to be a lot of joy, a lot of fun, and a lot of happiness with the Sun and the Nine of Cups here. And there is definitely a lot of love with the Knight of Cups. Alright, so looks amazing. Congratulations. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Aries, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago. So it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the Ten of Wands clarified by the Eight of Cups. We have the Knight of Cups, we have the Four of Cups, and we have Judgment on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. For some reason, I have a feeling that this person has become a drag for you, Aries. It's, it almost feels like this person just doesn't get the message, and perhaps this is not the first time this, try, this person tries to reconcile with you, and for some reason, they think they still got a chance, but in reality, they do not. <laughs> Um, so the first card I came out is the Ten of Wands, and this is a card of a burden. So I think this is a burden for you, Aries, because this person just keeps coming. Try this; they just keep trying. Keep, they keep coming back. It's not the first time this person is coming back. For some of you, it could be the first time, uh, the first reconciliation attempt. But for some reason, I feel it's either they don't get 
the message or you consider this person or a connection with this person a mistake <laughs> and uh, you're almost embarrassed about it or something silly like that. So the Ten of Wands is a card of a burden and it's clarified by the Eight of Cups. This is somebody coming back from the past. Right, we also have Judgment on the bottom of the deck. This is a card of somebody coming back from the past. And we have the Knight of Cups right there in the middle. It could be a Water Sign, Cancer Scorpio or Pisces coming back. Or this is the Love Offer coming from this person. But unfortunately for them, with the Four of Cups, the last card that came out, uh, they are being rejected. And it's kind of symbolic that the Knight of Cups is holding up a cup, right? And uh, that's exactly the cup we see in the Four of Cups. Uh, but the person is not accepting the cup in the Four of Cups. So you're sending this person back to the past where they belong. Let's talk about your work, your business and your finances areas this week. We have the King of Wands, we have the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Six of Wands and we have the Nine of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign and other Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. So the King of Wands could be a, another Fire Sign you're dealing with, another Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. The King of Wands could be your business partner, it could be somebody you work with, your colleague, your boss, or it could be you, Aries, because this is um, your card, right? Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. We have the Nine of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This is a card of uh, somebody who is stressed out, somebody who's got fear, somebody who's, doubt, who's got doubt, somebody who's got depression. So you're going to be up in your head about something, uh, something that has to do with your work business and your finances. But I think uh, you're worried for nothing. Nothing is going to happen. Nothing negative is going to happen. Or whatever fears you have, you'll be able to overcome them, you'll be able to conquer them. Perhaps you think that you're not going to be the one getting a promotion, you're not going to be the one getting a bonus, or you're not going to be the one um, accepted if you're applying for a new job, right? But I think it's yours. Whatever it is that you want or worried about, this is yours. The next card after the King of Wands that came out is the Eight of Pentacles. This is a card that is all about work, business and finances. And the last card that came out is the Six of Wands. This is a card of a victory. This is a card of recognition. Right? So if you're applying for a new job, the job is yours. If you're th hoping to get a promotion or a bonus, then that is still yours. However, don't take this spread for granted. If uh, the uh, battle, so to speak, is not over yet, then you still have to put in the effort, you still have to do your homework, prepare, and uh, prove it to them that you're the one they really want for that position, or you're the one that they really want to promote, right? And then it's yours, right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, Aries, this week. We have the Queen of Swords, clarified by the Page of Swords. We have the Four of Swords, we have the Hermit in the potential outcome. We have the Hangman, clarified by the Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. And we have the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. You could also be dealing with a Virgo. So I don't usually pull potential outcomes for uh, the unexpected spreads, but this time I did because I was not really sure what's happening here. But um, to be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure even with the potential outcome. What I do see here is that there's nothing happening here. Absolutely nothing. Um, so you could be dealing with this air sign, this Queen of Swords could be um, a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. The Queen of Swords is clarified by the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords could be communication or it could be um, them spying on you or keeping tabs on you or you keeping tabs and spying on them. It could be on social media or perhaps if this is a neighbor you look, you look out your window every once in a while to see what this person is doing. <laughs> well, hopefully not in a creepy way. So what still throws me off is the uh, Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This is a card of an ending. So perhaps you expected an ending between this person for some reason, right? But, like I said, nothing is happening. Every single card on the table besides the cards I just spoke of speaks no action whatsoever. 
So the Four of Swords is a card of somebody taking a break, not moving, not doing anything. The Hermit could be a Virgo you're dealing with, but the Hermit is also somebody who's gone within, some, somebody who's doing some soul searching, but they're not taking any action. Right, then the outcome we have the Hangman with the Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. The Hangman is a situation that is uh, hanging up in the air, nothing is happening. The Nine of uh, Pentacles, this is a person, a single, what, just one person standing still, and the Eight of Swords is a card of somebody who is stuck and trapped. This person cannot move. Right? So all these cards I just described there and talking about no action whatsoever. So I think what you're not expecting is um, you thought that there was going to be some kind of an ending between you and this person and this person could be anybody. A love interest, it could be a family member, a friend, uh, somebody you work with. So you expected an ending, but it's not happening for some reason, right? So that's what you're not expecting, Aries. All right, so that's what I got for you, Aries, for this week. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, please like this video. And other than that, Aries, have an amazing week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.